Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to uh, do something like this. So like, let's say this is you, the player, and then this is like one of the enemies that are near you, and then let's say this is second enemy. So like, this is you, the player, and then you want to uh, detect the nearest player, and it will automatically like do an explosion effect on here. Like, it will just do the explosion effect to the nearest player. So. Uh, Let's code this. So first, I'm gonna. So first, we're gonna need these dummies in a folder like this, the NPC folder. Let's also put this dummy somewhere important. Like, uh, let's separate. Let's add a lot of dummies. And then, yeah, like four dummies. So okay, that's what we're gonna do right now. So the first thing we want to do, well, from the last video, you would remember, like, we had this thing. We had this code right here. So, um, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove this code. And, like, let's remove this. Like, let's remove all this code. We're not going to need it anymore. Um, so yes, we're going to be needing the character, but what also we're going to be needing is like uh, the position of the character. Uh, whoops. Uh, local char C frame equals char get primary part C frame. So. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need, and then we're, we're gonna add a uh, comma char C frame. Oops. Ah, I haven't. Okay, I think yeah. So that's what we're gonna need, and then we're going to go in the main script, and let's replace this with this. Move it onto here, and uh, what else we're gonna be doing is wait. Um, what, what do we have over here? Oh yeah, okay, so, first let's make a function. So this function is going to be really, really useful. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make it, uh, like this. Oh, uh, what should we name the function? Like, uh, let's say find nearest NPC and player. So, and we're going to have function, so we're going to have the, uh, the, uh, position of the player. And we're also going to have the name of the player because this is also going to, uh, prevent us from, uh, well, basically, uh, killing ourselves or just adding explosion to ourselves. We're also going to write the max distance, so this is distance. So, uh, the first thing we want to do is, um, get the list of players we want, the list of NPCs, so list NPC, so list NPC and game dot workspace dot NPC, uh, get children. So, list NPC, so, uh, we'll do local, we also want to get the torso. And it's going to be equal to nil. And then we're also going to get a uh, local humanoid. Oh, okay. This is going. Wait, let's do this. So, uh, NPC, find nearest NPCs uh, equals nil local uh, temporarily tempo temp2. equals that so like for x equals one hashtag wait hashtag list npc then oh wait no 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 do uh temp uh temp 
2 equals list x. Okay, and then if temp to temp to dot name is not wait is not equal to name. So this is gonna be a string by the way. So uh yeah, then if we're gonna put this in brackets and if wait what is it temp to dot class name is equal to model then we're going to uh say uh I think I forgot to add something yeah I forgot yeah we're gonna have another temp equal to nil temp equals temp to find first child humanoid root pot and hum is going to be temp to find first child humanoid Now, the, the last thing, this is also going to help us know if it's actually a thing that we can damage. So, uh, if temp2, oh wait, no, um, if temp is not equal to nil, and um it's not equal to oops uh and hum not equal to nil then what is it um okay um we're also going to detect the position if temp oh wait no um if temp dot position uh, if did I spell that correct? Yeah, I did. Okay, if temp minus pause is pause dot magnitude Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, mag. Wait, wait, wait. How do I spell this? Oh, okay. Sorry. Magnitude is is a uh, greater is less than distance. The max distance. This is max distance, by the way. Then we can just uh, return. Then we can just return one thing. We can return the uh, what is it? What should we return? Oh yeah, we should be returning the torso. No no no, we should be returning the uh, the uh, temp. Okay. So, um, okay. So, yeah, that's what we can do. So, return temp two and then torso equals temp dot parent 
this equals to temp dot position um, and then it's also going to be minus pause uh, magnitude okay there you go work now uh, also we're going to put the torso here so it's also going to return the uh, torso so that's what we want so now how can we use this npc detecting thing well uh, the simple thing is wait one oh i forgot to do one more thing we also wanted to detect players so it's so the next thing we can do is just find nearest player and then we can go uh players dot get players and then this npc uh wait no 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 it's, it should be list players wait uh let's let me fix this dot character uh, I guess we can say um, yeah dot character no there so uh, that's easy to do uh, now we did this and now it's going to uh, happen again and then it's going to be easy again um yeah it's obviously going to return false because there's no players we're going to be testing so there's nothing going to be returned anyway so uh yeah so here yeah. the first thing we're going to do is find nearest npc so we want to have a position for it so uh let's uh add local char because pause equals char c frame dot position and then um so we're gonna add a char c frame and then we also need to add a name so it should be the name of the character dot name and the distance so what should be the max distance i guess we can say the 20 studs should be the max detecting of radius oh yeah and remember this returns a value so we need to know uh local near npc equals this local near player npc so yeah Oops. Find nearest player. Wait, no, not player NPC. Near player. This sorry for this being a little bit messy, so charge C frame. And this is also gonna be char dot name, same values, not no difference. You can increase these, you can change whatever you want the values. So yeah. So um, now that these uh, have returned a uh, player or the, uh, the character model, we should also be uh, saying, we should also find uh, out which one is the closest. So of course we're going to use this thing again. We're also gonna use this code part of it again. Like, uh, local uh this well no we can just add like a uh, mm, yeah okay we're just gonna do it anyway so we can add a uh, uh, local near player uh what is it let's say just this equals uh this 
Oh wait, we should be detecting. Ah, oh, never mind. We're gonna do. I'll I'll do a video on the player code. It's just too hard. Too uh, complicated. Okay, we'll just do this uh, NPC part. So near NPC, well, it would turn to value if near NPC is not equal to nil, then. Uh, we're just gonna add a uh, end part. Then near NPC um, here. Uh, wait, where's? How do I position this thing? Where do I position it? Where's the positioning code? Okay, I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna say effect dot c frame equals near NPC get primary part c frame there. Okay, now let's test the game. Hello, I made one little mistake. This so. In the code, I uh, it says charge C frame. It's actually not supposed to be that. It's actually supposed to be uh, char pause. Oh, and if we want to add some damage uh, to the player, we can just go near NPC, uh, find first child humanoid, and damage and then let's say 20 and boom it takes damage let's test the game so here's our dummy here's that dummy here's that dummy let's go. oh look it's working this is the nearest dummy now if i go here it detected that dummy i'll do a video on uh, npcs and dummies soon boom 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 look it works uh, there's no damage, we can just add a small damage code. It's pretty simple. 